Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa'ala, Koholoyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashem Rechachachadash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say, Pabada to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And hey, just want to just get a quick lesson in on the separation of this country and the desolation that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much over this country because it's too divided. And see, the scriptures are real. The scriptures are alive, man. So when the Lord said this, let me get this real quick and I'm going to come back to this. Um, this is the Trump thing, you know, with the Trump indictment. You know what I'm saying? You got protesters clashing. You know, they out they out on both sides. And it's so-called white people fighting against so-called white people. But let's get it. This is what's happening right now. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to just desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Yo, hey, a house cannot stand, you know, if you're separated. The scriptures talks about um, can two walk together? Let me see if I can get that real quick. And I want to come back to this word desolation too. Get us that Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's a rhetorical question. Can can you walk together with somebody and, and, and you're not, you know, you constantly fighting and bickering? It's not going to work. You can't agree on nothing. Then then, then you, it's going to be a, a complete blow on time and you're going to be separated. And, and you know what? It, all it causes is um, more animosity so to speak it causes more discord or you know you know I, well just fuck it you know how people get you in a household you the wife is against the husband the husband against the wife the daughter is you know them chose sides with the mama the son and chose sides with the daddy you know he's sleeping on the couch she's sleeping in the bedroom she's not making him dinner you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying he's making you know it's just it, it, you can't have a household like that so when, when when it gets that way what's next divorce divorce you know they're, they're, they're getting divorce lawyers and, and trying to see who's gonna split what they can't even agree on that oh uh, well you know we we're you know we can't get along you know you take the house i'll take the dog in the rv and just go live in my truck or something no they, they can't even agree on that it's gonna be a back and forth about that who's gonna get the children depends on how old the children are so it's a house divided. It can't stand. It comes to desolation. That's why I wanted to get this word right here. Matter of fact, let's look it up. Let's define it through the Google um, definition. That word desolation. It says a state of complete emptiness or destruction. See. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? That's, it, it becomes destruction because it's, 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 it's chaos. There's no order when people can't agree. It, it, it's just that way. That's just the way that it is, man. That's even with a business, with a contract. Well, I'm, I'm going to agree to do this. I'm going to agree to do that. Then, you know, they kind of work out the, the contract over time. Like, you know, well, OK, we finally come to an agreement. Cool. We're good. I know my part that I'm supposed to do. You know your part that you're supposed to do. And we're going to collectively make this thing grow. But other than that, if it's, if it's not growing, then it's destroyed. So let's go back. Let's get that again. Verse 25, Matthew 12 and 25 again. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself. And, and, and this is a kingdom. America is a kingdom and it's divided against itself, right? It's brought to desolation, which is destroyed. Every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See that? It's destruction. It's not, nothing is going to come of it. So let's get some of these pictures, right? Let's get some of these photos. And it's going to show you that you got the so-called white man against the so-called white man. And they're just divided. And they're supposed to be a house. They're a nation of people. They're a kingdom. You know, they have their own thing going on. And they're fighting and bickering amongst each other. And this is not just the Americans. 
We're talking about the so-called white man throughout the earth, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the, the um, Italians, the Germans, the, you know, wherever they're, the Grecians, wherever they're, they're scattered at, you know, and doing their thing. They're all divided. They can't even come together at a U.N. meeting or any of these these world meetings that they be having and, and, and get the, they, they bigger and fighting even there because it's greed. Most of the time it's greed with them. OK, but it says photos, protesters, clashes, Trump. Please not guilty. So you got one right here. You know, hey, these are so-called white people that, that hate Trump. And you got so-called white people there that love Trump. And they ready to do, you know, to, to, to tear the whole country down. These people are ready to go, you know, take this thing to a civil war level, man, because of this guy, man. Okay, here you go. You got another one says lock him up. Then you got a, a, this guy right here. Hey, he's for Trump. He's out here like Trump 2024, save America again. See, this is what this man, hey, I'm telling you, this place is on the brink of, of complete chaos, man. Here you go. You got Marjorie Taylor. Is mobbed by media when she speaks as Trump supporters, protesters gather outside of New York criminal court awaiting the arraignment. So it's just this place is it's all over the place. I don't know what this guy doing here. This damn um, George Santos. Damn liars, man. It's all chaos, man. Here you go. You got your boy Trump being walked in. But like I said, you got half the country. Hey, believe in Trump. You got half the country that don't. And they ready to civil war this shit out. And, and, you know, we used to, you know, I used to do, you know, speak on this level of, of, of things to let our people know. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, watch yourself when you're out in these communities where these people are. Stay away from these rallies, man. Yeah, because this place don't have nothing to do with us. This is not our rest. We don't, we don't have nothing to do with what's going on, man. We we should kick back, uh, uh, pop some goddamn popcorn, and let these so-called white people get it in and watch and laugh our asses off. What are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans doing at these rallies? What do you have to do with America other than these people enslaved your ass and still have you enslaved 500 years later? What are you doing there? See, we're we're hastening the day of our Lord. We know that this is the Lord that's that's doing all this stuff, man. We know that it's Yahweh by Shimei that's that's putting all this stuff in play. We understand that. And we're kicked back and we're laughing. Matter of fact, let's get this real quick. I was just there. Ecclesiasticus 25 and verse 7, also known as the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy for his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And one thing, you can't enjoy no children in this man's kingdom. This man want to turn your little boy into a little girl. He don't want you to be a grandparent. He don't want you to, your, your children to have children and carry on your lineage or your name. He wants to tell your son that he can be a girl. Your, your, your daughters that he can, she can be a boy. So you can't enjoy no children here. But what we can enjoy is, is the, we, um, you know, us living to see the fall of our enemy. Because that's what we're witnessing right now. We're witnessing the fall of our enemies. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, kick back and watch your enemies fall. Let them fight against each other. And for damn sure don't join this man's military. If you fool enough to join Esau Edom, the so-called white man's military, in, 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 in 2023, 2024, seeing what's about to happen, because it's all going to be nuclear war. You trying to get a missile to the face for this man? You better let that man fight his own shit. He stole everything. Let him fight for it. Now, what's this guy named um, Major, um, the guy that played in Creed? You know, he was he done all those. Hey, they had to um, redo those commercials that they put all that money into and stuff for him, man. Because he was trying to. And matter of fact, that was all spiritual. The Lord cut all off into his ass with that, that harassment, strangling case out in New York, you know, and, uh, and the U.S. Army had to recede on those um, those commercials that they put him in. Remember, they was, you know, they were trying to run him through March Madness. You know. All at the black schools, so-called black colleges and so-called black high schools trying to get our kids to join their fucked up military using the so-called black men. And that's what they do. You know why they doing that? Because the so-called white kids don't want nothing to do with their military. These kids not trying to join. They, they, man, come on, man. The so-called white kids are not patriotic. They don't give a shit about this country. All they want to do is play their video games. If they can if they can go to go to war for their countries on Call of Duty, that's about the best you're going to get. That's about the best. <laughs> that's the best you're going to get. They are not going to um, um, and listen to no army, man. But anyway, that was they, that's just the spirit. Hey, so if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, 
you listening to this lesson, you got a child, or if you are a, a person that's old enough to be going to the military, hey man, get the fuck away from there, man. Don't don't go into this man's military. Cause you cause what you're gonna be doing is if you go into his military, you're gonna be fighting against the Lord, you how about Shimia was shot. And you're gonna lose horribly, man. Let these so-called white people uh, fight for what they stole. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. See? Arise you. You see? It's time for us to get the fuck up out of this place mentally, spiritually, emotionally. We, we shouldn't have no ties to this place at all. All we're supposed to be doing is getting up, going to work, you know, getting our daily bread. You know, the Lord is going to provide us with everything that we need. Clothing on the back, food on the table, housing, man. Day to day until this thing comes to, a, to an end, man, because it's coming to an end. All that making plans for the future. You thinking 10 years out, you thinking 15, I'm going to do this in five years. I'm going to do this next year. You know, Jake got a real habit of saying shit, talking about what they're going to do without saying, hey, it's the Lord's will. If it's the Lord's will, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. You know, Jake got a real habit about being prideful and acting as if they know what tomorrow is going to bring. But, hey, I'm telling you, you better get the hell away from Esau Edom's kingdom, man. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, just go to work, man. Go to work. Get your daily bread, come on home, make your meals, enjoy your family, and kick back and watch this shit play out because it's going to play out in, 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 a, in a most disastrous way soon. And we're going to be laughing, man. We're, we're praying. You know, we're going to be going through some things because Jacob's trouble is not going to be easy for any of us. But I'm praying that I'm in a mode of laughing when I see the calamity of this place, man. As I see it just, you know. In the milliseconds, you know, just little bits played out by a little bit. I was watching the brother today. He done a judgment video. The brother, um, South Carolina SC. Seven, I think, is the one he's still going by. It might be. No, I think it's eight. I think they, um, I don't know. I think they might have got rid of the seven. But I've been watching the brother for years, GMS. Um, and he was doing, I think it was an older video that he re-put up, reposted. And it was going into judgment. And man, when I tell you, man, the Lord was giving it to people. The Lord hit one woman with a lightning strike and killed her and her two dogs that she was walking with. Left a big scorch in the road, man. Judgment. So we're living in the last days where the Lord is a, is doing. He's starting to visit this place, man. He's starting to visit the, the world which he made. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's go to. um Second address. And I was kicking it with one of my brothers today like, hey, man. You got to get it together. Here you go out here, man. You arguing with another brother. I ain't going to even get into it, man. Just I'm just telling him, like, bro, we need laborers, man. <laughs> this true way that we need laborers, man. That's why the Lord said to pray. Um, you know, um, the, he said the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray that there, there are laborers for the harvest, man, roughly paraphrasing. Here you go, you out here bullshitting. You want to be a damn rapper? You want to, you know, do, you know, like, nigga, what are you thinking about, man? We we at the end of this thing. We need workers. And you just out here just, nah, man, come on, man. Second address 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's the point that I wanted to make on that. The Lord is visiting this earth, man. Judgment is going out. People dying in the most horrific ways, man. And I got to say, hey, if you're leaving this planet right now, man, that's, that's, that's still, that's mercy too from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai compared to what's to come. Compared to what, you know, people will be living through with what's to come, man. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and uproars of the people in the world, and, and that's happening all over the world. Earthquakes are happening all over the world. Uproars of the people are happening. You, you're seeing it with the Trump thing in New York. These people are ready to te tear each other's heads off. And that's going on all over the planet. Greece, um, Italy, uh, I, I mean, um, France, um, uh, all over in Israel. Uh, everywhere, every, shit, you look at Euro news, motherfuckers is going in in every country, man. Coming up against the government, burning down buildings, tearing up shit burning shit in the streets tear gas flying the cops out there with the shields you know they ain't riot gear i mean this is going on all over the world man 
So you have the uproars of the people happening. We're living in the last days. The Lord has given us exactly. He's showing us what's going on. He's showing us that the things that are in these words are coming to pass, man. They're they're happening before our eyes, man. So that's why we as the watchmen, we bring it out. We warn the flock. Now, it's up to you. Now, what you going to do? What you going to do? Because there's nothing we can. We can't twist your arm and make you believe. We can't twist your arm and make you, you know. I was just telling my brother today, too, you know, hey, it's just certain stuff we just can't do. We just kick back. We waiting. You can't make somebody take this truth, man. We just we push it out there, you know, and the spirit handles the rest, man. And that's all we can worry about on that. It says, verse four, then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So that's how we're going to we know. These things were spoken of. Now we're seeing it happen. So now we know that these prophecies are a we. The time clock is ticking. He says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. What are we measuring? How do how do we measure it? By what the scripture says. It says when you see earthquakes and uproars of the people, that's a part of the measurement. Yeah, we're seeing earthquakes happening. <laughs> we're starting to see uproars our government we're starting to see what i just read in on um, that matthew 12 and 25 that 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 the, the the people are divided a kingdom cannot stand if they're divided if satan is divided against satan how how shall his kingdom stand we're seeing that play out we're seeing the wars rumors of wars playing out we're seeing the earthquakes the pestilence the famines um, going down i was kicking it with a gentleman at the supermarket today he was on it he was he, he even mentioned the chip He's like, yeah, man, you know they're talking about this digital. I said, yeah. We kicked it for a hot sec, but he knew a few things. But see, people are starting to wake up, but they're not they're not waking up holy. You got to go ahead and get your ass. It's not enough to just be woke and you still twirling in the bed trying to find your favorite spot again. No, it's time to yeah, flip, throw that goddamn cover off you, get your ass up out of that bed and, and wash your face, brush your teeth, throw some gear on and be ready to bounce, man, because this is how close we are. This thing, man, <laughs> the script, what it said, throw it, Terry, wait for it. As a matter of fact, let me see. <laughs> I'll probably end out there, roughly paraphrasing that, man. Let me see here. Look, I want to get it, though. Throw it, Terry, wait for it. Yep, Habakkuk. Yeah, and that, hey, this whole chapter go in, though. Habakkuk. Let me start from the top. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set and set and set me upon the tower. See? Watch. And will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Let me get that back again. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. What are you doing upon the tower? What 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 are you what, what this is going into being a watchman. If you're familiar with old movies like or old, you know, um, period pieces like, you know, Game of Thrones, things of that nature. You know, they will have a watchman on the tower and he's looking about. The towers is up high so you can see in a circumference all the way around you. That's why the scripture talks about to be circumspect. You know, Ephesians 5 and 15, be circumspect, watch, because the days are evil, roughly paraphrasing. So he's sitting upon this tower and he's watching. It says, and we'll watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And that's what's going on right now. Hey, these prophecies is plain. We're telling you we're, we're bringing it to the people plain. You see, it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. So this thing hey, is it, it's for an appointed time, but it's coming. It says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. It's going to be full truth, man. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. See that? It's coming. I mean, it's like it's happening. <laughs> We're watching it happen. We're on the day to day on the news, man. We're literally watching the prophecies play out on the news, man. The movie is moving. So the thing of it is, is what are you going to be doing? What, where, where do you want to be at when, when this shit goes down, man? You want to be under the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. 
So and you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. You have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Because that Romans 13, 11, it goes off into, um, matter of fact, let's just end out there. Let's get that. Yahweh right, Shai, we, we, yeah, we'll end out here if we can. Romans 13 and 11, and it reads, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. You can't get no more clear than that. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Because if this was written 2,000 years ago, you know how close we got to be right now? And we're actually seeing these things play out? Damn, Finland just, just joined NATO today, or yesterday I think it was. You already know Poland is next. So that, that, that's going to increase, you know, what's going on with, 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 with the, the wars, rumors of wars. The digital um, um, implantation, um, implantation, the implant that they want to put into your ass, that's coming. They're working on that real fast. So, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep. Verse 12, it says, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Hey, the party is over. The sunlight is coming up. It's like you out of town and you just, you know, everybody is all, you know, laying on the floor and they throw up. You know, they don't know where the hell they at. They done had drug after drug after drug. They just there. They done, they done sexed themselves all night. They done done all kinds of shit. And, and here you go. You just so happen to just be, you know, have a, you know, a winkling of an eye open. And you see, oh, shit, goddamn, the sun is up. It's morning time. Hey, man, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to break. What, you about to continue on hanging out there? I mean, come on, man. It's time to get the fuck up and get up. <laughs> it's time to <laughs> time to get up, get out, and get something. <laughs> With the uh, the boy, uh, I think that was a group back in the days. Don't let the days of your life pass by. <laughs> it's time to get up and you gotta get out and get something. Don't spend all your time trying to get high. You know what I'm saying, man? It's time to rock, man. We we in the we in the thick of this thing. We in the end days, man. I seen the apostle. He was going off into a live on um, talking about um, Finland joining NATO. Hey, man, that's a huge part of these prophecies. You know, the scriptures talks about uh, be not ignorant in a, um, a great matter or a small. That may seem small to some people. But, hey, we, on you know, seeing it spiritually, we know that that's, that's a grand scale type of thing that's going on. What? Just wanted to just touch on that, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.